27 degrees. I mean, that's cold. This ain't Alaska or up north near the Great Lake somewhere where they're used to stuff like this. This, this is North Carolina. Not used to seven degrees. But anyway, I'll uh, tune back in when we get there. So a lot of people like to call it a warm-up set. I don't. I like to call it a pre-exhaust set. Whenever you're doing a pyramid set going up, it's totally different than pyramiding coming down. Here's why. Because you're going to be starting with a weight that's about 80-90% of your max, if you pick up that weight cold, you run the risk of tearing something, pulling a tendon and whatnot. So the first set, I like to do about 12 to 15 reps just to really drive some blood to the area to get my tendons and everything loose. And um, then I jump up again to about that 80, 90 percent. And every set I do is in twos. So my first set might be, well, the first work set is going to be one to two reps. The next one is going to be about two to four. Third one is going to be four to six. And you get get my point. Uh, the next one's gonna be somewhere between six to eight. Now, it depends on how you feel that day, though. So if you're feeling good, you start a little bit heavier, and you know adjust on your next one. So if one week you come in the door and you're doing say 190 pounds starting off, and you're on a pyramid down just because you got it last week for one or two reps uh, say two reps doesn't mean this week you're gonna do two you know maybe your diet was off your your sleeping was off whatever and you can only get one that's okay you you want to modify the weight to how you feel unlike some plans that want you to stick to a rigid structure I don't believe in that I, I, I totally believe in listening to your body and doing what feels good on that day. So if you're only used to pyramiding up in weights, which is the majority of people who lift, you'll be surprised to find the straight gains realized by reversing the process and pyramiding down. Oh yeah, one last thing. Always put your weights up when you're finished. It's just inconsiderate to leave them behind because somebody might be uh, lifting heavy and they already have to carry, you know, two to eight plates to the area or add it to the bar. And uh, it's just kind of rude to, to make them expend energy for something that's not a part of their workout. Uh, I know it seems trivial, but in the new year, let's help each other out. All right. Take care.